Breaking news, scientists discover new species of toilet-dwelling worms. Scientists have made a shocking discovery that could change the way we think about hygiene and sanitation. A new species of worms has been found living in the toilets of several households across the country. These worms, dubbed Lavarus and by the researchers, are capable of surviving in the most extreme conditions such as high acidity, low oxygen, and exposure to human waste. The discovery was made by Dr. Johannes B. Knopp, a microbiologist at the University of California, Berkeley. Dr. Knopp was conducting a routine analysis of the bacterial flora in the toilets of his colleagues when he noticed something unusual. I was looking at the samples under the microscope and I saw these tiny, wriggling creatures. They looked like worms, but they were unlike any worms I had ever seen before. They had no eyes, no mouth, no digestive system, no nervous system, nothing. They were just tubes of flesh about a millimeter long with hundreds of tiny hairs on their surface. They were fascinating and horrifying at the same time. Dr. Knopp decided to investigate further and collected more samples from different toilets in the university campus. He found that the worms were present in almost every toilet he tested regardless of the cleanliness or frequency of use. He also found that the worms were highly adaptable and could survive in various types of water such as tap water, bottled water, and even bleach. He then contacted his colleagues from other universities and institutions and asked them to send him samples from their toilets. To his surprise, he found that the worms were widespread and had been detected in toilets from all over the country and even from other countries. Dr. Knopp and his team have published their findings in the prestigious journal Nature and have named the new species Lavarus and Elidius. They have also proposed a possible explanation for the origin of these worms. We believe that these worms are the result of a rare and bizarre mutation that occurred in a common ancestor of earthworms and leeches. This mutation gave them the ability to eat poo-poo and survive in extreme environments, such as toilets. Over time, they lost all their unnecessary organs and functions and became specialized for living in toilets. They feed on the organic matter and bacteria that are present in the toilet water, digesting turds with total ease and they reproduce by splitting into two. They are essentially immortal unless they are flushed down or removed by other means. The discovery of toilet worms have raised many questions and concerns among the public and the scientific community. How long have these worms been living in our toilets? How did they spread so widely and rapidly? Are they harmful or beneficial to humans and the environment? How can we get rid of them or should we? These are some of the questions that Dr. Knopp and his team hope to answer in their future research. We are just scratching the surface of this amazing and mysterious phenomenon as well as scratching our anus just thinking about these creatures. Is it possible to spread these worms if you fart on someone's pillow at night? Possibly. There is so much we don't know about these worms and we are eager to learn more. We hope that our discovery will inspire other scientists and citizens to join us in this quest for knowledge. We also hope that our discovery will not cause panic or disgust among the public but rather curiosity and wonder. These worms are not monsters, they are wonders of nature. They are a testament to the diversity and resilience of life on Earth. They are toilet worms and they are here to stay. Be nice to the little worms and feed them Taco Bell so they get splatteria. Yeah. <laughs>